It's been a long time, hasn't it? So, uh... Sorry. That was just Tupac making his presence known. Um, he always does in my life. Okay, I'm trying to prop the camera up just so. Uh, that's good. All right. Now, for those of you libertarians in the audience, the only reason I'm wearing my seatbelt is because it's daylight and there are cops about. I live in an overly enthusiastic police state. So, uh, forgive me. I don't want to wear it either. Um, oh. I forgot that I had coffee right here and it's spilling all over my car. Imagine that. So, it's been a long time since I've shot a video. Um, I have to take breaks from doing this because it drives me crazy. I really hate being a YouTuber, uh, mainly because I hate social media with a passion. And uh, as cool as it is to put up videos where I'm, you know, narcissistically talking about myself and my life and my opinions and why I'm right about everything and you're wrong, um, it's actually pretty sickening and it disgusts me. So, uh, that's my problem with it. And yes, I know that my coffee cup's dirty. You don't have to tell me. Um, so, uh, you should fix that. I should fix that. It's a little better. Slightly. Not very much, but we'll have to make two. Uh, so, uh, still doing the toothpick thing. Uh, have not gone back to smoking cigarettes, thank the Lord. Um, it's very, very hard for me to not smoke cigarettes, you guys. Um, <laughs> If I could have any addiction in the entire world, it would be cigarettes. And I would smoke probably three to five packs a day. At this point, with our political climate, it might be six to seven. But, um, yeah, I, I love cigarettes. Um, I'm a writer and I'm a schizo, so uh, naturally, it helps me focus too. That's the thing uh, about nicotine. It, it really, really helps you focus. And I have a problem with that. In case you didn't notice. So, uh. See? There's a fucking 5 0 right there. Y'all didn't see him, but I did. <laughs> okay. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Yeah, something that I've noticed on the glue tube is that, you know, everybody's just constantly bitching about everybody else. And, you know, one thing that I hope that you can guarantee with this channel is that, you know, I bitch about a lot of things. You know, I don't just bitch about politics, and I don't just bitch about Democrats, and I don't just bitch about uh, these people or those people, you know. Um, there's lots of stuff to bitch about, you guys. Why, why limit yourself? Um, Just watching the 5 -0, making sure he's not he's not coming after me, because don't you know we're public enemy number one over here? Um But uh It's like I tell myself that like the stuff that I say is so important. It's really not. A lot of people have said these same things over and over again. Uh sheep, uh, you know, sheep, bah, those those people in the vortex that are constantly on their phones. Um you know, like, those people will never listen to the stuff that somebody like me has to say. You know, because somebody like me is just thought of as crazy. And, you know, while I do call myself crazy, I don't ever use it as an epithet. And I think that that's why 
people get called crazy is because uh, the majority of people that, that think of the term, they, they think of it in a derogatory way. Well, that's not how I think of it. Um, if I call you crazy, that just means that I like you, you know? You're probably interesting and you have cool things to say and you stay up all night and, you know, you think about the world and shit. Speaking of staying up all night, that's like pretty much all I've been doing, just, just reading and uh, working my ass off at Steak and Shake and I do love my job quite a bit. But uh, something I wanted to mention. Now I know that people probably think that I'm a sexist. Uh, guilty as charged. Uh, you'd be a sexist too if you've been continually manipulated and fucked over by women your entire life. And especially women that think that they're right about everything. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's not that I don't like women. Like, I mean, I don't, I'm not a misogynist. Okay, there's a huge difference between being a sexist and being a misogynist. I don't hate women. Um, but I do think that feminists should move to the Middle East just to see what oppression really looks like. But anyway, um, they won't. <laughs> I have a lot of really sick fantasies um, involving... Uh, you know, what I wish would happen, but, uh, I think that, I think that a lot of people in this country don't appreciate living in this country, and though there, there are plenty of things to whine about in regards to this country and how, um, outrageous our government is, but, uh, it's like people don't want to talk about what's most important. It's much easier to point the finger at somebody else than it is to take personal responsibility, just like it's, it's easier to, you know, be on a particular political side rather than, uh, you know, take a step back. And if you took a step back, you'd realize that all of the sides are wrong, you know? And unless you're living your life, you're living up to your potential and, and uh, you know, like doing what, what you think is right for yourself, I think it's really hard to, to tell everybody else that they're doing it wrong. You know, so that's why I'm such a such a cunt, you guys. Like, I'm so critical because, like, I've spent the majority of my life beating the bloody hell out of myself, and and so it's like it's just funny when people criticize me and they think that I haven't already done it myself. It's like, honey, where have you been? <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, this is really weird to be like shooting a video during the daytime. Cause you guys are used to me holding up that light, right? So I've been playing the piano a lot. Um, and it's really, uh, the only thing that gives me composure aside from reading the Bible. And you guys in the vortex might think it's stupid to believe in God, but I think it's pretty stupid to believe in a shrink, 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 shrinkity dink. And I know that I'm gonna say a lot of things that are probably gonna uh, make my subscribers go away, but that's fine. I don't need ya. I don't need ya. If you don't wanna listen to all I have to say, I don't need ya anyway. And that's the problem. This black or white thinking, we seem to think that we're so much better than everybody else, as if we've never had a silly thought, as if we've never thought something biased about somebody else. It's kind of ridiculous. I have to switch lanes, hold up. Can you guys hear this? I think they can hear it a little bit. It's cool, just keep doing it. The idea is nice, isn't it? I noticed that. I noticed that. People that have an opinion, they don't really wait for the context, 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 context. Of course you're gonna object if you don't know the context, context, context. 
Let's pull it up. Gotta switch lanes again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I've been going without air conditioning for like the past several months. And uh, I'm, I'm a very accommodating kind of person. Like I just, I don't understand why anybody complains in this country. Unless you're going through the foster care system. Shut the fuck up. Um, there are so many people in this country that they have so much. And if they don't have it, they can go get it. And don't think that I don't, like, I understand that a lot of people that live here have to deal with all kinds of um, setbacks, you know? And if you don't grow up in, like, a well-to-do, rich, white family, you know, you're, you're not going to have the kind of opportunity that, that, that somebody that grows up in a rich, white, well-to-do family has, you know? And uh, I, I realize that, especially as a white girl, I definitely realize that. Um, but the really awesome thing about living in America is that if you really want that, if you work and work and work and work, you can get it, you know? And people in, in India, they can't say that. People in China, they can't say that. Um, and so I do think that this system, I mean, it needs to be overthrown. That's, I mean, I think that capitalism, uh, has the most opportunity for advancement, but the unfortunate downside of capitalism is that um, it exploits a lot of people for profit. You know, and if we could just weed out those assholes, that would be awesome. But unfortunately, I don't think that Mr. Sanders is actually going to do that, no matter what he proposes. If he actually does anything for the Walmart employees, good on him, you know. But uh, I think that Walmart is so morally corrupt that like there's really nothing that you can do. Uh, to to make them actually accountable for any of that corruption, and uh, I think the same with Monsanto. I think the same with Big Pharma. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter like what what people try to do. It's it's not ever going to be enough. Which is why I suggest the libertarian philosophy, not the libertarian party, mind you. The libertarian philosophy: take care of your damn self and stop worrying about everybody else. See the hat. Right. So, uh, I'm probably the most libertarian person you'll ever meet in your life. Um, most libertarians don't vote, by the way, because they know that voting's a sham, and the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are exactly the same, because they're both working for the progressive bullshit. Progress. What is that? Progress is where a uh, drag queen can read a bedtime story to a seven-year-old. Progress is where we teach anal sex to children. Progress... Whoa! Is not driving off the side of the road. <laughs> okay. See, this is progress. Like, what I'm doing right here, this is progress. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I don't vape. I don't take Chantix. Oh, by the way, if you're on psychiatric drugs, you're a fucking moron. Why don't you, like, buck up and stop being such a fucking pansy? Like, really and truly. I mean that. I fucking mean that. And I tell that straight to your face. Because people need to know. Because you will be exploited and you will be manipulated by the very people that say that they're trying to help you. I guarantee fucking see it. And you could think that I'm a cunt for saying that. You could think, oh, how dare you? You don't fucking understand me. You don't know what I go through. I guarantee you that you don't need half the shit that you think you need. And it doesn't allow you to grow up. It doesn't allow you to figure out what's making you anxious, what's making you paranoid, what's making you sad. You know, what are these memories like that? Because a lot of times with the moods, if you're a very moody person like I am, it's because something's triggering that. Because my amygdala, that controls my memory, okay? Um, and my amygdala is actually, uh, you know, it's, it's screwy because of my borderline personality. They, they've, they've looked at like brain scans of, of people that have this disorder and our amygdalas are real screwy because uh, the part of our brain that processes memory is, is uh, jacked to all hell which is fine, you know, it, it's fine because uh, it allows me to, to evolve. It allows me to, to have to, you know, challenge myself 
And I'm grateful for that. You know, when I was a kid, I wasn't because I didn't understand. Um, and so I, I felt like a victim because of these these uh, problems that I had. And I, I mean, I'm not trying to to say that oh, you're, if you're depressed, like you're not you're not actually depressed. But I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. So what? So what if you're fucking depressed? Like, I mean, you should be. You ever consider the fact that maybe you're supposed to be depressed? Maybe like you're anxious for a reason. Like, you know, I get anxious whenever I drive in the interstate. I'm not anxious right now, but uh, that's probably because I'm shooting a video, so I'm yakking, so that's distracting me. But, but normally when I drive in the interstate, I'm very anxious. And the reason for that is because I'm driving at 70 miles an hour and there are all these cars whipping past me. Like, so and naturally, like, if, if, you're, if you're feeling a certain way, it's probably because you're supposed to feel that way. And the problem with this idea of, of medication is that it doesn't actually encourage people to understand themselves. It, it, it discourages that, really. Um, and you want proof of that, just 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 tell your psychiatrist everything that I'm saying. He's totally going to discount it and be like, you're going to kill yourself if you, if you stop taking well you know? <laughs> Psychiatrists are pieces of shit. And like any good psychiatrist will tell you that. Because any good psychiatrist will fucking denounce their practice and join the anti-psychiatry movement. Um, you could say, you know, that, that I'm a really judgmental person. You're absolutely right. I, you're absolutely right. I told you guys I'm on a freight train of judgment, hopping from boxcar to boxcar all fucking day. And, uh... You're next. Or maybe I just, I mean, we already got to you. Maybe maybe it's time for me to move on to somebody else, you know? But don't think that you're above it. And, uh, you know, I talk shit about myself all the time. All the time. I mean, it's it's a constant... Watch, watch. I know I've mentioned this. Go to the other keys. It's louder. So, uh, I haven't done stand-up comedy for a little while. Because it just keeps getting crazier and crazier in our political climate. And I feel so, uh, outnumbered. But I'm realizing that, um, I shouldn't be discouraged. Because, uh, um, I'm right. Would you please stay in one lane? Please. <laughs> moving, moving along. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's like, it does make me nervous, you know, being outnumbered. But something I've noticed is that, like, the audience tends to receive me pretty well. Because they're so sick of, of being told the same fucking joke about how Donald Trump's orange. And, you know, the dumber the joke, the more likely dumbasses are to repeat it. I've noticed that. Um, same, with, same goes with hashtags. You know, the more pointless the hashtag, the more obviously flawed it is, the more obviously bullshit it is, the more people are likely to uh, say it over and over again. Believe women. <laughs> Speaking of women, this is what I was trying to get to earlier. Um, this is the third time that I've worked for the company that I've been working for. And uh, something that, that I've, I've assessed over the years of all the time that I've worked in restaurants is that women really suck at leadership. And it, that, that's a huge reason why Hillary Clinton would have been a bad candidate. And also because she was Hillary Clinton. She's fucking evil. But um, women can't take criticism. It, it's something I've noticed. Uh, and, you know, I can take criticism. Like, go right ahead. Fucking lambast me all you want. Um, I can fucking take it. Because I know who I am. And usually if you say something, I, I, I probably agree with it. I'll be like, yeah, I am, I am a cunt. Thanks. Uh, but, you know, women really suck at taking criticism. So how the fuck are they going to be good at leadership 
if they can't hear one bad thing about themselves. Because if you're gonna put yourself in the public eye, you have to be ready for that shit. It's, it's why, like, you know, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I mean, she's not, she's not a real person. I don't think that people understand this shit. They're all actors. Most of these people are actors. But go ahead and say I'm crazy because, oh, it's crazy talk, right? It's crazy talk. If it's inconvenient, that person's crazy and you don't want to hear any more of it, right? It's a lot easier than, like, you know, open up, up your eyes and asking questions and and making your own personal assessments rather than just going along with whatever the media tells you to go along with. I mean, but I've noticed that, you know, people haven't really cared about any of these issues until Donald Trump got elected. And a lot of these same people that they say that they hate his guts and they, they call him a racist and a monster and all kinds of shit, it's like they didn't have a problem with him before he, he uh, turned into a Republican. Uh, so he's not even a Republican, you guys. He's trying to uh, drain the swamp, so the swamp is part Republican. I don't know if you guys know that, but all those people in the vortex that think that they're better than than the Democrats just because they vote Republican, like, no, you're you're still you're still following another fucking herd, fucking idiot. You know, I I don't understand. I mean, I do understand, but I don't understand. I do what I don't. Uh, the, the whole black or white thinking. It's like maybe that's why I can explain it so well is because I've experienced it in my own life and it's something that I have to constantly watch out for because of my uh, personality disorder. So I'm grateful for that, you know? And, and if I had listened to all those pieces of shit that just wanted to get me on three different pills um, that would encourage me to either shoot up a school or shoot myself, then, you know, I would never have figured out that I border like personality and not bipolar, you know? Uh, everybody has bipolar. You guys, a hedgehog has bipolar. My car has bipolar. Um, you know, my car has a disease. You know, if my car needs a brake job, my car must be diseased, right? Depression's not a disease. Schizophrenia is not a brain disorder. Now, not to say there aren't mental illnesses that you should watch out for. Really, like, all the people that are doing the protests, all the people carrying around the posters and shit, those are people you need to watch out for. Uh, not those of us that, that just make, you know, shitty YouTube videos out of a car and play piano on the interstate. You know, like, we're not really the ones you need to worry about. Um, but, uh... I call myself an anti-socialist. It's, 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 uh, it's just the term socialist. I don't like it. You know, fuck you. Like, why, why do I have to be social? <laughs> I mean, socialism doesn't work. Like, even like the socialist, the socialist programs that we have, such as like the child welfare. I mean, <laughs> welfare, that's like the biggest fucking joke. Because they don't, none of these people give a fuck about the welfare of any of these people they want to, uh, white knight for, you know, because if, if you want a white knight for him, you, you realize like, holy shit, these policies aren't working. <sighs> now, of course, I'm sure that there's a lot of criticism that people have for me in the vortex. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of shit that you could say to me and be like, you know, you don't know shit. You're really ignorant. Uh, you're a piece of crap. Um, please say it. I would love for you to say it. You know, um, I totally value free speech, even if it hurts my feelings, you know, uh, and I guarantee you it won't hurt my feelings for longer than 23 seconds because that's approximately the amount of time that I give a fuck about what some idiot thinks about me that doesn't actually know who the fuck I am. Um, but, uh, He better not put me in the motherfucking drive-thru, I'll tell you that. <laughs> like, one of the reasons I came back to work here was specifically so I would not be put in the drive-thru. Now, I'm a beast at that drive-thru, and everybody tells me that. They're like, Jesus, like, I can't believe you don't want to do it. I'm like, uh, it's a terrible, terrible job. That's why I don't want to do it.
speaking of women who fucking suck, I just saw the manager that I've been bitching about. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Women can't run the show. So I, I, uh, I saw this t-shirt at the Walmart that said, women run things, 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 women run things. You're welcome. How fucking arrogant is that shit? And women run things into the ground. That's what they do. And they want to fucking brag about it. It's like you wouldn't need a hashtag if you actually, you know, stick up for yourself. Anyway. This pussy wants you to grab her pussy. Like, look at this shit. It's like she won't keep her skirt down for nothing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> my, my friend won her out of the crazy claw and gave her to me because I'm always meowing. And so, I got this, uh, I got these bags from the Goodwill for like three bucks and I thought it was pretty suiting since I always meow and shit. You know, I'm taking the whole like, you know. I'm a cat, I'm actually a cat. I know that you guys know that to some extent, but you don't know that until you work with me because I'm like meowing all the time. I'm sweating like a motherfucker, by the way. Not that you guys want to know that, but I gotta switch my hat since my manager's here. You gotta switch your shoes, too. I do have to switch my shoes. I have like all this food. I have like a banana, I have grapes, I have uh, a protein bar, I have, um, what else? What else do I have? Uh, peanut butter. I have celery. <laughs> okay, so, um, I guess uh, I'll see you guys later. Um, I'm gonna go inside and uh, hopefully not be on the drive-thru. Um, but uh, yeah, um, it was nice talking to you again. I, I do love you, Vortex, no matter what you think. Um, please don't have abandonment issues. Bye.